program uh, comparing cyclophosphamide and autologous stem cell transplantation after uh, myeloablative or uh, bone marrow immune system destroying uh, treatment to rid the autoimmune disease, the scleroderma, with reinfusion and rescue from your own self cells. And we reported those um, outcomes to six years after randomization uh, earlier this year in the New England Journal. The importance of the second study, which is a separate protocol, is to determine whether those benefits that we saw with improved survival, control of disease, of multiple facets of disease, and better outcome, are they durable in the long term? Or did uh, things change? And so we were able to track patients from the sixth year after they went on to the original study out to almost 11 years in the earliest lead patients. And we found that there were no deaths in the transplant arm. There were four more in the cytoxin arm. We found that there were very few people that required immune suppressive drugs to control return of disease, of autoimmune disease, where that was not the case in, this, in the um, cyclophosphamide group. And overall, the survival advantage was 88% with transplant to 11 years versus 53% to 11 years in the cytoxin group. So these are meaningful things. Patients are improved. They are no longer on immune suppressive therapy for up to a decade and living normal lives. We have um, quality of life and functioning data to suggest that they're back to work. They're doing normal activities. And that really is, for us, very gratifying. And clinical practice generally changes over a period of time when there's sufficient evidence that's very clear from randomized trials that this is the new best standard. And so here with something like transplant for severe scleroderma, there have been several randomized trials that now show the same benefit from transplant. And in fact, when what's called a meta-analysis, all those patients are put together and analyzed, the likelihood of all-cause mortality is half in transplant compared to cytoxin. I think that's the scientific evidence. It's just not theory, it's fact. We published a report uh, having the American Society for Blood and Marrow Transplantation review this evidence and make a position statement that transplant now is a standard with, with inter internal organ involvement, severe scleroderma. Transplant is a standard of care. We wrote that for the insurance agencies because they first said this is experimental. And now we're helping the insurers understand this is the next conventional care in selected patients, not for every scleroderma patient, not with people with very advanced disease or without internal organ involvement, but for a select group of the worst of the worst, yes. That the best outcomes are in centers where people talk with one another and collaborate for care across transplant and rheumatology. They've been doing it for a while and they are accredited by um, inspection agencies. And that all makes sense. It's a volume experience thing, but it's important that the rheumatology and transplant community work together for the individual patient.